good morning. It has been a bit of a rush, rush, rush this morning as I've got myself ready to fly to Brisbane for work. So I'm going to be in Brisbane for the entire week. Uh, so I made sure that I've got a place that's got a pool, got a gym. My gym is around the corner anyway. Brisbane's not that big. You'll see it in a minute. And my flight is in like an hour and a half, so I've got ages. I'll see you there. Brisbane it is bloody hot it's like 33 34 degrees but feels like 38 because of the humidity because I'm here for an entire week decided to book a car so we'll cover by work and everything so that's fine but yeah so it'll be first time driving in Queensland ever not that it's too different to New South Wales Alrighty then, I've got my Mitsubishi ASX, uh, bright blue. I got that because I wanted an SUV with preferably like all-wheel drive because it is supposed to be a little bit thunderstormy towards the end of the week. So I wanted to have something with lots of grip, a little bit higher, so SUV rather than some sort of sedan or whatever. Brisbane and it's a decent little apartment so it's actually an apartment style and not a hotel style I've never really stayed in one of these sorts of things before so it's a learning experience for me but looks kind of good like I've got oven fridge and all of that then in the bathroom not bad actually got a washing machine and dryer so I'm here for nearly a week. It is, a, it is nice to be able to wash clothes. Then my room and check this out. I am on the 51st floor. But damn. One issue with heights is I get vertigo like crazy, so <laughs> I'm not too game to go much closer to the edge. Oh god. <laughs> I forgot to bring thongs, or well, aka flip-flops, aka sandals, jandals, whatever you call it. We call them thongs here in Australia. I forgot them. But, pool. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, and yes, still got a broken toe. Oh. Yeah, this pole will do nicely. It's actually a decent length, so I can do a few laps. Um, and as long as I get here when there isn't too many people in the pool. Oh, really? I just haven't been swimming that much. Um, my last swim was in the half Ironman, and my swim before that was in the full Ironman. 
So, yeah, I've done some decent lengths for my last couple of swims, but I just don't go swimming that often. I really need to get back into it, so this pool, great little pool, nice little length. Um, I'll be able to do a few laps while I'm here, which is great. And this can also help, um, since I've got my broken toe, I've still got about a week until the four weeks initial period is up uh, before then I can be approved for running. But one of the recommendations with having a broken toe is to do other exercises, such as swimming. Swimming is one of those recommended additional exercises. And talking about broken toe, how's my broken toe going? Well, it's still broken. Um, I take the tape off every few days, of course, just to give my toe a rest. It, uh, the glue tends to irritate my skin a little bit. So I take it off every now and again and give it a little bit of a test, but it's still broken. Like I try and bend it and there's just immense pain. So yeah, it's broken. Um, I hope that it is healing itself. I hope that it will become healed as soon as possible I don't know I'll see how I go in a week that's when I'm supposed to be given the all clear to be able to run again so I will give it a bit of a test then I won't give it too much of a test between now and then hoping to get as much healing as possible but yeah it's still broken and that's one thing you got to watch out for with swimming is doing the kicking with the broken toe if you're kicking and it's putting pressure on that broken toe, it can actually hurt. Just did a couple of laps now and yeah, I was feeling it a little bit. So you've got to do more of a triathlon style kick, which is not kicking, more all upper body. So triathlon style, of course, is swimming more with using your upper body, not doing much in the way of kicking because of course you want to save your legs for the bike and the run. Also, it is so nice to be able to go for a swim after being on a flight and being a little bit sweaty, a little bit just annoyed, stuffy, all that sort of thing, you just want to freshen up and swim is perfect for that. We've got a nice little gym area, loads of equipment, some decent weights. Yeah, this will be good. As I mentioned in my previous video uh, with the gym, with a broken toe, of course you've got to just do exercises that don't aggravate the broken toe. So I'll be using the rowing machine, maybe the elliptical machine, I probably won't be doing any running. And I might be doing some of the weights. Also core ab exercises, they are great as well. Alright, well that about does it for me today. I'm going to head out and get something to eat now. Uh, maybe a drink. Thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, ride and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.